We're kicking off Tornado Survival Week here on the Weather Channel. This morning, we're unveiling a great tool to help you stay safe during a tornado. Sam Kelly is the spokesperson for the American Red Cross, and he is here to demonstrate a new app that just may save your life during a tornado. Sam, thanks for waking up being, being with us this morning. I no love problem. this app, the Hurricane app, the Snow app. They're all really, really good here. And uh, we can actually show them on the big screen what I'm looking at because I'm looking at the we'll iPad. Okay, there we go. Um, so here's the app, and it, it's just super easy to use. What is your favorite aspect? of this app? Well, all of our apps that we have have a lot of tools to help you get prepared. Mm -hmm. They have items like flashlights, et cetera. But the thing that really makes a tornado app different is that it has an audible alert that warns you when a tornado is happening. Even if the app's not running? Even if it's not running, because as we all know, tornadoes happen a lot of time at night when people may be sleeping, so That's it's good great, to be able yeah. to wake people up with it. Fact, you got a, a little, we can hear, we, it. We can hear yeah. it on your phone. Tornado warning. That'll, wake you That'll do it. You know, if you live somewhere like New York where tornadoes don't happen all the time, so you're not used to sirens, sure. that's, that's a great that's tool really to have. Nice. Now, there's a, another part of this. It's the I'm safe feature that can Ooh, let like loved ones know yeah. you're safe in the path of a tornado once it's passed through. Yeah, you click the button, hit safe. It links to all yeah. your different social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, so that family and friends know that you're okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, it's very user friendly too. So I'm safe, and you click it, and there's all that information there as you were just talking about. And then there's also a feature that directs folks to the, the closest shelter. Does that use the GPS feature in there? Exactly. It links to any shelters that we have open, gives the addresses for them. Um, and depending on the situation that happens, it might even have more information as where people can get services. We did that during Hurricane Sandy. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and the other great thing about it, especially if it's on your phone, turns it into a, a flashlight or even activates a strobe. Exactly. You know, there are a lot of great little tools. You know, this is preparedness uh, in your pocket. Wow, that's pretty cool. As far as the app is concerned, you know, it, obviously it's free. Uh, uh, when you're when you're designing something like this, first of all, it's uh, I, obviously it's for iOS. Do you have it for Android as well? It's for it's available for both iPhone and Android, and you either go to the iTunes Store or to the Google Play Store to download it. It's completely free, and it's available in both English and Spanish. Hmm. It's really, sorry, I'm just playing no, along I, with this. I'm like <laughs> listening to you guys. Um, it's just so easy to use and, and, and so user friendly. Um, what about what about getting, a, does it help you get a, a, a kit like to plan ahead for tornadoes? It tells you how to plan ahead of storms so you know in advance. And, and we always encourage people to, of course, prepare before anything happens. Tells you what to do during yeah, as well as course. after. Mm -hmm. And we also have other uh, apps, such as our first aid app. And people are really turning to apps, we're finding. We oh. have more than 2 million downloads of our apps. During Hurricane Sandy, more than 400,000 people were on the Hurricane app using it. And it's before, during, and after. It's a great, oh, I just closed out the app. That was lovely stuff. That's Good okay. job, Aram, stirring this. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can gives actually. you all the tips to, to prepare right. your home. Yeah, you, it gives it, you NOAA weather watches yeah. and, and warnings. They're easy enough for a seven year old child. Do we have a seven year old <laughs> child? Who we get a seven year old in over here? <laughs> Sam Kelly from the American Red Cross, thank you so much.